I wanted to find out how much real capacity there is in a Chevy Volt battery pack, one 48 volt battery pack. And to do that, I set up a test using light bulbs. What I did was I started out with a fully charged or almost fully charged battery pack. We had a good sunny, couple sunny days there about a week ago, so I ran that. I set my absorb and my float on my uh, charge controllers up to 50 volts uh, to bring the total resting battery voltage up to 4.15, and uh, that's uh, still a little bit short of uh, fully charged, but uh, close enough. And then I ran this test, and I'll show you how I did it. got these light bulbs going here and grab my amp meter and this is one single old 200 watt bulb that was left in this uh, garage by the previous owner uh, it's about 27 years old and still works. I, I, I haven't used it, but I mean, I've had it all these years. I didn't have the heart to throw it away, and I'm glad I didn't because uh, it worked out great for this test. And uh, these are just some brand new Phillips 72 watt spotlights. I just happened to have them, so I ran over to Home Depot and bought some of these pigtails and these bulbs are in parallel they're not in series they're in parallel and you'll see here the current that they pull okay this pack these these two here pull about seven tenths of an amp these pull one amp and that big monster there pulls 1.2 and I'm going to disconnect them now because we're actually down to where I wanted to be and so what I did was I started out with a fully charged battery and I, I ran that first test for five hours. I started three days ago in the, in the afternoon and I ran it from 235 to 735 just leaving it connected and I recorded the I took the amp the clamp amp meter and took the combined amperage and then I did a, 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 a cell voltage test as I went along just checking the, the voltage on one cell and uh, you multiply that and then of course there's there's 12 cells in a 48 volt pack so that's 135 watts and uh, 134 watts on down then the next morning uh, I stopped at 735 because we stopped and went out to dinner the next morning at 930 in the morning I ran it for two more hours and then the next day I ran it from 830 till 1 p.m. Uh, so I got one, two, three, four and a half hours. And then I did a little, last night I just had the 200 watt bulb on for a short time. And uh, then today again I had all, all uh, the, 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 the bulbs all connected and running. And that ran for two hours. And so you can stack up all this current, like here, if you take these 11 and a half hours, I call them an average of 134 watts. And uh, take that and multiply it times the hours divided by 1,000. There's one and a half kilowatt hours there. There's 0 0.03 kilowatt hours here in this little test I had with just the 200 watt bulb on last night. 
for a half hour. Then today, in the two hour test, with all the bulbs reconnected, I got another 0.24 kilowatt hours. And you add all that up, that's 1.81 kilowatt hours total out of a two kilowatt hour pack as rated from the factory. So uh, I am not, I wasn't completely full here. I could have gone to 4.2 volts and I could have dropped this down, down all the way to two and a half volts. But you see what happens here is you'll notice there's about a 0 0.05 volt step every hour. It's about 0 0.05, 0 0.05, you know, just right on, right? And all of a sudden, in the last hour, we went from uh, 3.49 volts per cell to 3.22. It was a 0.27 volt drop. That's five times the drop that you'd see in, in just about all these other steps. And that, they say, is the knee. Uh, three and a half volts, or 336 volt as installed in a vehicle, that is the knee. And they are right. <laughs> that is the knee. It really falls fast right at that point. Um, and you can go down, okay, the, the Nissan Leaf car, I know this is a Chevy Volt battery, but it's the same basic voltages. I happen to know that in the Nissan Leaf car, it hits what's called turtle, where you can just barely creep along on the road, maybe five miles an hour. It hits that at 3.2 volts. And so that's why I stopped here. I said, you know, in, in theory, I will never go below 3.2 volts. In any case, um, I'll set my low battery cutoff to be higher than that. In fact, I'll set my low battery cutoff up here at 3.5. So 3.5 volts and, uh, you know, right at the knee. In fact, that's where I have it set right now. My midnight or my magnum inverters are set at that to shut off at that point. Um, but, you know, you could take it down there. There's not a whole lot left between, uh, there's only 0.118 kilowatt hours in that 40, 48 volt pack between 3.5 and, and 3.2. So there's not much there, but you could use it. So, anyway, that's the result of uh, the test. And uh, I, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. It, it's uh, uh, a lot of power, and it's almost what it came out of the factory rated at. So. Uh, they're uh, three-year-old batteries. The Chevy Volt batteries are three years old. And uh, if the recycling yard was being honest with me, they had around 35 to 40,000 miles on them. So that's really good. Um, really good capacity. And the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to run the test on one of these Nissan Leaf packs, which... Uh, it rated at three kilowatt hours, and I'll be real curious to see what I get. Uh, that's one of these. I'll disconnect one of these uh, next time we have a chance to get them charged up real, real hot. Uh, we're supposed to have some good sun here again in a few days, and I'll go ahead and uh, run this test again on the Nissan Leaf Pack, and I'll report back. So, thanks for watching.